And now I would like uh, to tell you about the digital analysis of images. So digital analysis of images is the most part, the most interesting part of digital microscopy. Uh, yeah, there is a practical implementation of this uh, idea, like remote uh, consultation, counseling, and uh, also getting all the viewpoints and opinions of our colleagues. And uh, that is our um, so-called engine, but for the research to perform the research and to continue our development the digital analysis of images is the most uh, interesting uh, history the most interesting story why because uh, we need to objectivize the uh, clinical data, clinical findings, because we have the evidence-based medicine to be considered. And uh, this is uh, the bullet point that helped us to develop uh, our uh, profession when we are working with different types of oncological pathologies. And I'd like to say that without a high level of histological equipment, uh, uh, you cannot scan in an efficient way and you cannot perform the um, digital analysis in a good way the high tech of equipment high tech of uh, micro slides uh, this is uh, the key for uh, high quality histological analysis because without that we cannot achieve this goal that is why uh, the first uh, prerequisite is a high-tech histological equipment in laboratory before we start scanning and uh, we um, implement any theoretical things we should develop an ideal um, micro slide because without that scanning is impossible and I have to say that the next stage this the validation of algorithm of the research and of course here we um, did a great job it took us a long time to teach a machine to determine what we need because we define that we determine that with our eyes and that quite seems quite natural for us at the first uh, stage i did that manually with a marker with a red light and green light and black light uh, color so i have uh, here the number of uh, uh, red dots we just uh, uh, took uh, widespread types of analysis with all the blue uh, dots and points and the amount of it the next stage validation of the algorithm of calculation this part of slide has automatic calculation what the machine did, how the machine looks at it, sees it. This is manually done, calculated with a marker, and it was significant for me that the scan and automatic calculation can be compared with the manual analysis. When we uh, reached this chart, these, resu these results, when I cannot see any difference between the automatic and manual analysis and the group is solid after that, first after that, we could say that we were successful methodologically. It was correct to do in the following way. When we know exactly that the machine calculates correctly, we can continue the further analysis. Unless we are not sure that the machine calculates correctly, we are not allowed to go further on when we reached the exact matching of the manual and automatic results. We followed the research with the use of TC matrix. This was a big research which involved over a thousand breast cancer cases over 18 markers 
we uh, ran various analysis and comparisons between uh, markers. A short uh, but very important il illustration of this work when the key 60, uh, 67 uh, was, key 67 was um, calculated and we got this 19.9% uh, .9 result. There was a correlation, the correlation between the parameters of grade and living through the grade one lives long and wealthy and grade T lives sh shorter. Grade T was a various group. You know what grade one, grade two is. In grade two, when the level of key 67 was over median, median was 19.9. .9. The survival rate is uh, the blue uh, line and the red line is when it is uh, another one. When we have uh, a quantitative uh, evaluation against one parameter, we have a rich source of different combinations of analysis. This was here. You can see the uh, uh, comparison of two uh, columns in statistics software. So you see estrogen. Yeah, the key was key sixty-seven was approximately uh, thirty percent when uh, estrogen was high. And here we add another column, another marker. So we, we can work on different data massives which we can interpret in different ways at different levels this is a very accurate issue analysis of the operational specimen this was a small pool of patients like 32 persons the primary analysis of cell density the number of cells, of tumor cells, in one uh, square millimeter at mi microslide. We can see goys um, uh, spreading, spread. We did not take the first part before the surgery. The chemotherapy was conducted, different types of chemotherapy, and you see red columns. This is Miller pain spread before the therapy, and the green one. I'm sorry, the green one, the green columns. These are the parameters of cell density against Miller pen, and you see that the number of uh, the uh, tumor cells are less in the micro uh, the micro slide. This was correlated, it, is, it correlates to what we see under microscope. This gives us an opportunity to show what is happening with the cell density. What about the possibilities of uh, fluorescent markers uh, analysis? Evgeny spoke about the manual way of fluorescent analysis with the uh, green and red signals, the automatic analysis allows to, uh, allows to analyze these parameters more accurately. When we have a rule, we study 20 cells for H E R R T statues when we have in one square millimeter 6500 uh, cells the machine can work on all the cells and then there is a better spread nowadays we conduct analysis to validate to validate the results of automatic of the machine analysis we 
conducted a research. We calculate uh, not only key uh, 67, not only green and red uh, markers, but we can analyze vessel density. And there was uh, the work re uh, related to basing on the lever uh, um, moving a transplantation uh, and we got the results that the zone of central artery the sinusoid zone and uh, portal artery these two zones had the same uh, vessel density both the sinusoid zone Uh, who I uh, had the worst results of the transportation. The square of the vessels grew by eight times. This can be seen with uh, automatic analysis only. It can be seen manually, it can be seen with eyes. As for our future, I would like to express my gratitude to Alexei. This is uh, uh, the uh, typical scheme you see for the cancer determination. And you see Grison gradient group review or revision. We see there are three groups for graduating of the cancer of the prostate. Uh, our future is to work on the uh, software which can uh, recognize patterns. Uh, this software is developed by different uh, software designers and scanner producers. We need to cooperate. We have a, a database of patterns. They have the opportunities for such an analysis. Collaborating, we can uh, give the time for human being for people so we cannot replace um, uh, William Shakespeare or Chopin music with um, the scanner or with um, something else with any machine but a printing machine and synthesizer uh, just gives us more free time and uh, the scanner is not our competitor so the uh, uh, robotized technique is not to uh, uh, contest with the man but just to avoid the routine labor which takes a lot of time I would like to speak about the advantages of the uh, digital analysis. This leads to transparency of the research. The zones of the specimen where the research was held are kept. This is um, another advantage is um, accuracy. The machine analysis provides better uh, accuracy at uh, research of the pathologic changes and the uh, replication. We can use the same template for different types of case research. This idea is a core idea of Corvintana our scanners they have a closed analytical part and the next part I scan uses closed protocols for evaluation and uh, the results can be repli uh, replied or can be uh, duplicated we need to uh, help to join these parts so that this um, activity runs correctly. I would like to express my gratitude 
from the lab of oncology. These are Mr. Turkevich, um, Mr. Turkevich and Mr. Klimashevsky uh, for working uh, since five years on the project. I would like to express um, my gratitude to Mrs. Mukhina and Mrs. Ma Maxima from Immunohyster Chemi uh, Lab for the uh, brilliant uh, specimen for the brilliant microslides with very high quality which we even sent to Hungary. I would like to thank my colleague from Obninsk uh, Laboratory, Mrs. Gorban, for an opportunity to conduct the initial research. These uh, blue red dots, uh, validation of my methodology, everything was done with the uh, uh, on the platform of the Obninsk Lab with the material from the Obninsk Lab and uh, also my gratitude to the Memological Department of the Oncology R&D Institute to Mr. Poltuev and Mr. Komikov and my colleagues from 3D, 3D Histech Gaber Kisler and uh, Anna Maria She's Maria, she's Maria, who helped us with fish research and with the design of the uh, algorithms. This was uh, not a work done in one day. We have been cooperating since eight years. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you, Arcel, for a very, very interesting uh, presentation. Please, your questions. No questions? Is there any? Okay. Uh, thank you, Arcel. What does it mean? You say we try to teach the machine. You speak about the accuracy, the duplication, but the setting is on the routine um, research. So what you get is a, a verse variant of the uh, uh, manual research. And the second thing, the second question, are there any systems already developed and designed which are used in the world? Maybe you can uh, uh, speak about the uh, system which is uh, the development of which is already completed. Thank you. Well, question number one. The primary validation should be done in the laboratory and it is the rule we cannot take the software can take a software and get correct results in which you are sure you need tuning of the system for the evaluation you need the tuning for the evaluation of your uh, micro slides the introduction of uh, digital scanners uh, sets uh, higher requirements on histo uh, histological research. The introduction of the health system leads to the highest quality of the uh, microslides. When you get the uh, highest quality of the microslides. I know, Sergey, that your lab has uh, the microslides of the highest quality, the top quality, but you need to validate your protocols for the evaluation. I am sure the system with the, the evaluation of the um, microslides cannot work. There are different principles, however, of evaluation of changes. We use uh, 
man half automatic half manual we mark the uh, uh, focus zones with the non optic optimal coloring but you still use it man make it manually you mark it manually but then you load this into the machine so the manual element exists in this process yes you are right it is not the machine where i just put it and get the result well uh, it is uh, like in uh, cytogenetics um, when uh, the machine can assist but it should be done manually the major work is done manually right the tuning the focus zones the marking with uh, red green blue brown zones these are done manually if i see that the machine is uh, incorrect i can just correct it